Thanks so much to the cheerleaders from Bedford High School tonight. All right, let's get back to the highlights. Liberty Center had that magical playoff run a year ago. Tigers look primed to make another deep playoff run this year. Liberty Center off to a 3-0 start. They've only allowed 21 total points so far tonight, making that trip. Over to take on Wasi on start second half. Quarterback Elijah McLeod rolling out to his right. Looking for a receiver. Throws over the middle. It's tipped by a Tiger. Falls into the hands of another. Landon Cruz would take off, but he tripped up in Wasi on territory. That would lead to Liberty Center in the red zone. They hand it off to Colton Cruz. He finds the end zone. It's 32-6 Liberty Center, but they're not done yet. Finally, quarterback Zane Zider going to air it out to Landon Cruz. Comes down with a touchdown grab here. The Cruz kids all over the field tonight. That would extend the Tiger lead to more than 30 and start the running clock. They get the win 40 to six and Chase Bachman has more from Wasia. Tonight, two of the best teams in the NWAL faced off, but in the end, Liberty Center's offense was just too much for Wasia on. Well, I think emotionally it's, it's a huge confidence boost for our guys because we know how talented they are and how well coached they are. And I thought we came out here and played extremely well. Our front three did a great job of getting enough pressure to make them uncomfortable and then on the back end we made some plays when the ball was in the air uh, and, and that's you know that's off the guys back there for us because that's a great team with a lot of very good athletes. I thought our guys stepped up and played well on defense. Um, you know our coaches really stressed that like I said before they had all the all the talent to come back whenever they wanted so it was it was a focus thing um, just focus every play doing our job because if we let that if we let them back in the game it could be scary. Wasion had a lot of playmakers um, Everybody makes plays, but it was it was our goal, you know, coming in. Got to get on top of them early, or else they're gonna stick around. And I mean, they they're dangerous. Well, Zane did a great job. I mean, the line blocked great, so good throw by Zane. Yeah, we're definitely looking forward to it. After next year, we got kind of embarrassed, so we're looking to get them back. Liberty Center wants to stay unbeaten, but they will have a huge test next week when they host Archbold. Reporting in Wauseon, Chase Bachman, WTOL 11. Chase, thanks. Archbold has won 23 straight regular season games. Tonight, the Blue Streak's home with Brian. Starting the second quarter, or quarter, quarter, quarterback Jace Kepler dropping back, scrambling, gets out of one tackle, throws it downfield to Drew Hahn. He would turn it up the field. He escapes a tackler, eventually brought down. And then that would set up this. Kepler would fake the handoff, keep it himself. He would fall into the end zone. That would give Brian the first score of the night, but Archbold would rally back and they win it 28 to 14. Patrick Henry has only allowed 15 points through three games. The Patriots hit the road tonight to take on Swan. Bulldogs hoping to get that second win of the season at home. Second quarter of this one, PH up 7-0. Swan going for it on fourth and goal from the three. Stuffed though by that Patrick Henry defense that I just talked about. Later, PH quarterback Nash Meyer heaving it deep down the sideline to Landon Johnson. He would haul it in for 47 yards before he's eventually run out of bounds and then watch this. Gavin Jackson the run, he's hit hard at the goal line, but the referees say he crossed the plane. Touchdown Patriots, PH wins big on the road, 40 to seven. NBC now, Rossford on the road. Bulldogs oh, making the trip oh, to take on oh, the Genoa oh, Comets. Oh, Opening oh, drive of the game for the home team, Aiden Antry would get the handoff and squirt free. He is off to the races, just like that. Genoa on top, seven to nothing. Very next drive, Comets going, looking to the air this time. Aiden Brunkhorst finds Mason Drummond behind the defense. Here comes a house call, 69 yards to Pater. Rossford rallies to make it a game, but Genoa wins it 32 to 28. Non-league matchup here, the Clyde Flyers in town taking on the start Spartans. Start still looking for that first win of the season. Good start for Clyde, opening drive, give it to Javen Sheffield on the jet sweep. He would get the corner, takes it down inside the five yard line, and that would set the Flyers up here. They cap off the drive. Clark Norman punching it in for the short touchdown. Flyers up six to nothing. And that Clyde defense was great all night. Backed up here, but they get a big stop on fourth down and goal. Flyers pitch the shutout. They win it tonight 44 to nothing. Blanchard Valley now. McComb 2 and 1. Van Buren 1 and 2. First half of this one. McComb's Braxton Althauser would get the toss and get some blocks. He would stroll his way down the sideline and then over the goal line for the Panther touchdown. Van Buren with it on the other end now. Parker Bielhar is looking for an open man, but instead finds a McComb defender there. Interception here would stop the drive in its tracks and straight off the turnover, McComb would score again. This time the senior, Andrew Swisher, beats everybody for the touchdown. McComb dominates, they win it 66 to seven. And finally, a big game up in Michigan. Bedford welcoming in Dexter. Dexter, one of the best teams in the state. First quarter of this one, and they would be in striking distance, but Bedford's Thomas Huss Coming off the edge here, 
He would get to the quarterback, he pops the ball free, mules recover, they take over but can't capitalize. Eventually, Dexter would begin to get things going in the form of Cole Cabana. He's committed to play running back at Michigan. Here, Hall's one in for the touchdown. He counted for all four of Dexter's scores in the game. Bedford falls 27-6. All right, that is going to do it for us on Charlie's Dodge Chrysler Jeep Ram Big Board Friday. Remember, if you miss any of the highlights, we will get it all posted on our streaming platforms and on YouTube. Plus, you can catch our Band of the Week full halftime performance on Monday. Thank you so much for watching Charlie's Dodge Chrysler Jeep Ram Big Board Friday. We will see you back here next week.